Hey you guys, so Foodie Beauty is live right now and this video is going to be a clip of basically everything she says and does in probably under 10 minutes or less during her live stream. So we cried for food and shelter. I love their, I love their username. At, at Endless Mimosa on Twitter said, when you spend so much time talking about your ex you dated for one week on a live stream, your husband you've only known for three months is moderating that you almost burned down the villa while cooking gravy. Hashtag things that happened in girl world. Hashtag foodie beauty. I have to add another package. Hold on. I think I'll add the clubhouse one. PBJ is not hiding it What's going on in the smoke? It's smoky down here? Um, a little bit actually. Why? I don't know. There's smoke coming out of whatever you're making. Uh, whatever that sauce is. I don't think it's the gravy. I mean, that's where the steam is coming from. Yeah, it's steam, but uh, I didn't have a fan on it. There's something in the oven. Yeah, I suspect it probably was the, uh, the sauce. Because, yeah, like I said, there was smoke coming out of it, so probably some of it was drifting over there. Oh, you don't want any of this for you. Yeah. That's so again, these are clips from Foodie Beauty's, I believe it's titled Hot Chicken Livestream, something along the lines of that. So Hidden Truths at It's True 2021 on Twitter said, hashtag Foodie Beauty. This is the same exact thing she said when she was seeing Nader. Pete's isn't her problem. She's not responsible for him. Same exact words until people got fed up and forced her to see Pete's after he made that video of him being severely depressed. It is some of her problem. <clears throat> I'm married now. I'm all Pete's has. But Van Spiezer, that's not my fault. That's not my problem. He doesn't want to meet people. So what am I supposed to do? Live my life for someone else? <laughs> right? Right? I'm not responsible for other people's lives. That's not her fault. Exactly, Trixie also to do things for himself and you know like I don't know what to say like it's not my it's not really my problem you know I have my own life to worry about so it's true it seems harsh but it's true <laughs> yeah exactly like I mean it's his he has to take control of his own life make himself happy it has nothing to do with me being a crappy friend. It's just like men, Muslim women are not friends with men. It's not, it's just not a thing. So Salah is my, yeah, it's not my responsibility. Hi Sam. Oh, what do you want? Okay, so this tweet from Hidden Truth says, hashtag foodie beauty said Nader wishes he was a man like Salah is. Nader doesn't have a job, a car, and uses women who uses money. She just described Sala. Sala quit his job, uses your money, you transfer to his accounts, and is using you for citizenship. Sala is no better. Sala did hate you, it says. Let's go ahead and watch this clip. By the way, buddy, you wish you were the man Sala is. You have no job, you have no car, you live off of a poor woman, poor I should say, uh, who also doesn't have a job now. You live off of a woman, you're pathetic in every way. Not much salt. He's never hit me. He's never pressured me to do anything with another woman. He doesn't have over women, other women at his house. Like, give me a break. You know what? Hijab, goodbye. I can address whatever I want on my channel. See you. Don't come back. So there. So here, apparently, Foodie Beauty said that she doesn't want any more pets. And I just want to thank Hidden Truths and everybody for clipping, um, clipping these live streams so we can go ahead and share them out. Thank you for doing this. So Hidden Truths said, hashtag Foodie Beauty. She just said that she doesn't want any more pets in her life. So what about Harry? Uh, until like, no, I don't want any more pets, period. I just don't want that responsibility, honestly. I can't deal with it, and I have too much other things to deal with in my life. There are people who are very, very big um, pet enthusiasts and cat lovers who will gladly take them. Okay, so Kristen retweeted this um, tweet by Bubble Butt Booty Meat Jones at Bay's Pinky Toe. That's the name right there. 
So it says, one, I notice a lot of the time in chat, Salah's messages have quotes in them. Almost like someone sends him lines to say, and when he copies and pastes, he accidentally leaves the quotations in. Example, hey babe, next time in my chat says this, FFG, you are nothing without Queen Chantal. Okay, then Kristen retweeted Mo Translates, who is on Twitter, you guys. And it looks like Mo's responding here. It says, Allah here is saying to Sala, please, enough. You have destroyed yourself being with her. And Mo the Mofo, I guess, had initially asked, can you translate for, can you translate this for me, Mo? Oh my gosh, you guys, in this clip that Kristen shared, it says she's so jealous it's not her this time, and she's going off about Dee Dee and the purple bed. Let's go ahead and watch this together. Like, he's legit, obviously, like, having another woman in her pur pur purple bed, this friggin' lady with the braids or whatever, and the knockoff t-shirt, and she doesn't care. She's out there working to pay for his cigarettes while he's doing another woman in her purple bed. Like, <laughs> what? You guys, okay, this is how we're going to end the video. So Kristen caught something, you guys. So hashtag Foodie Beauty uploaded the season two trailer to the couple's channel, then quickly privated it because her Funko brain and fat fingers had left season three in the actual video. It was edited and re-uploaded as seen below. So she's literally treating her marriage like a reality show, which leads me to believe more and more that this is fake. Season why is it just a season if this is a commitment? I don't know. And then it says original ending credit to ADHD at the farms. So we're going to watch the, these clips. Um, if anything else interesting happens, you know I'll be back. Um, I may not always be the first to get the Foodie Beauty stuff out um, lately, but I will definitely get updates up. And we will be checking in on Tila Tequila later. I'll see you guys soon. Joy of the first steps of a child. It's the joy of your great grandmother's smile. We came a long way, but we ain't slowing down. We got a strong pace, no, we ain't losing ground. We won't give up and we won't turn around. to give you advice help you find the wrong from the right you make friends all along the way to break bread on another day always there to give you advice help you find the wrong from the right